Hey guys, what's up? As you can see, I'm standing in the bathroom. Uh, we did the eight FRP panels on the walls. Uh, we did the whole thing, put a new uh, shower handle set on. Um, I also did lower uh, the shower just a little bit. It went down about three inches, uh, which doesn't seem like a lot, but um, I don't have to be in the vent anymore. Follow us along on this one uh, if you're interested in putting the FRP panels on the walls. Um, it was pretty simple, that part of it was. And I'll probably put a, a clip link or whatever to where you can jump to just putting the FRP panels on the wall. And then, like I said, we lowered um, the base and it really helped us out. I've but like I said, follow us along on this one so you can see how we did our bathroom and uh, hope you enjoy. <laughs> So this is ten and a quarter tall. So one thing I would recommend, um, no matter what you do, these tubs need resealed like badly from the factory. Um, if you haven't already, um, definitely I would recommend resealing all, everything that's in here. The wall panel is fine. Um, supposedly will, it's semi waterproof. I'm not gonna say it's waterproof, but um, it's supposedly waterproof but another thing is we put this little seal on the bottom and it's just like a bathtub seal uh, it's like six bucks maybe for a roll of it and a huge roll that'll do like two bathtubs worth of uh, worth of stuff um, but it's got mastic on both sides of it on the floor and the tub side so um, and then I also uh, clear siliconed it down but if you're gonna tackle this project, do yourself a favor, get a plastic putty knife for scraping all this stuff off the walls and then to clean up all your trim with. Use caution no matter what tool you use because you don't want to gouge your floor. But this stuff's super sticky. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually pulling up the flooring. And then the, the hose for the toilet goes through the wall. It's actually like a split grommet and it, they stapled the heck out of it to put it on there. Um, I'll probably just unscrew it from the back of the tank. So this is where it all gets interesting. All right, so what I've done here is I'm gonna show you guys here in the garage that way in case I cover anything up uh, in the bathroom since it's such a small space and uh, hopefully I won't cover anything up. But I wanted to show you guys exactly what I bought and where it's gonna go. Um, I just got back from the hardware store because I did some double checking and I missed a few things. So um, with that being said, I think I have it all now and I'm gonna set you up here. So we're gonna FRP the walls and I got corner trim and uh, end cap trim for it. Um, I've had it for a while, that's why it's all dusty. And then new sealant and uh, uh, construction adhesive just for FRP panels. Well, it's good on FRP panels. But I'm gonna set you up here. I'm gonna run through all the parts. Um, 
So I cut out the T that was existing in the wall. And let me split this out. I cut out the T that was in the wall. So I'm gonna have to drop this down to where this is flush with the floor or as flush as I can get it. And then I have a slip joint uh, connector that will glue into this. And then I'll have to, um, this will couple into the existing vent pipe and then I'll have to cut a small piece to go in here and that'll be back to where it's supposed to be. So I have those um, pieces and then I'm gonna just put a description in the link of what I actually used. So I had to get a full kit of parts and this is for a bathtub. Um, it's a, a whole assembly um, from overflow to the drain, but I only needed this drain piece out of the whole thing. You can't just buy this drain piece. Uh, I wish you could, but you can't. And then I got this extension tube and you can't just buy a single sided. I couldn't find a single sided extension tube like this. So I'm going to have to cut this and then this will actually slip into this piece. Um, however, it needs to orient orientate and then since there's not going to be a trap this is um, a toe touch you just step on it and it seals the gasket it'll let the water in and then I'm going to use it as my cover um, for the vent gases so if it's open, it's draining, and then when we're not using it, I'll just click it, sh click it shut, and then it should uh, vent all the gases out, um, no problems at all. But I'm gonna put the tub up here, or the shower base up here, and take all these components apart and show you what we're actually gonna do. Okay, so I kinda mocked up the, the tub, or the shower base, here in the garage. Um, you can see it's pretty level um, it actually needs to come up on this end a little bit more but it's pretty close so um, and this is if it had to sit flat on the ground in the camper um, but what we're doing here is this will this will secure the tub it'll screw into that piece and it'll cinch down and then um, this this Y or T will be coming out of the wall essentially like that and it's a actually about right there I'm not gonna need that extension piece as a matter of fact I may have to cut this down um, but that's about how close it is and if I could do that just like it is, here's the wall that was um, holding the shower up. And I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but at the minimum, I'm gonna gain about four inches, three and a half or four inches. Okay, so um, I rerouted our plumbing, uh, the hot and cold lines, they go up against the wall now and I'm getting ready to set the base of the shower and that's pretty much the angle I need coming off of the wall. As you can see, this isn't down nearly as far as to the floor. I don't know if I can get you down that far or not, but there's, there's a couple inches there still, probably two and a half. Um, and that's honestly as low as I can go. I can go another quarter inch down closer to the tank but I'm not going to worry about a quarter of an inch. Um, I still have to cut this upper piece so I can fit a straight coupler in and then just couple this together, but um, that's pretty simple. I'm going to set uh, the, the T first and make sure I can get it at the proper um, angle coming out. But it does have pretty good fall, actually, the way this is set up. So um, it should drain pretty quickly. But yeah, I'm gonna continue on here. Uh, it has been a couple days since I've been back out here, but I've honestly only worked on this for probably two hours straight um, in all the time that I've spent doing all this. So uh, 
I did have to go get a tool to fix this PEX and uh, reroute it and then some fittings for that but it turned out pretty nice and it'll miss all the stuff that's under there and honestly I thought I was gonna go a little lower to the ground so um, I probably could have kept it like it was and it would have still missed because I thought I was going gonna be able to put the shower base all the way to the floor but I can't but that's not that big a deal um, I still did gain about two and a half or three inches of headroom which doesn't sound like a lot and really in reality it's not that much but but yeah I'm gonna continue to set that um, just about done with it I just have to set that one fitting and then I can set everything else and then I'll do a full uh, the best way to put the wall panels on and all the trim and stuff that we got for it too so I'm going to continue on here and uh, show you our finished product when we get done. I've got all my stuff set. Uh, got a new piece coupled in here uh, to the existing vent pipe. Um, I've glued my new T in and you can see that the swoop goes the right way. Um, if you're doing this, make sure your plumbing's going the right directions. Um, I've got uh, my new piece. Uh, leveled on there uh, it does run downhill so no water should actually sit in there and it's actually bottomed out in all of this so it kind of worked out perfectly that um, this is as far in as it'll go I didn't even have to trim any of this but I'm getting ready to set the shower uh, pan and um, I've got a new seal that'll go on top here and then there's a, a seal it's a real soft one that goes underneath the new strainer and it'll sandwich the tub or the shower base in between um, the two seals. So I'm gonna level the back up first and then I can do um, the side to side. And when you're leveling it, because I actually had to re-level this in its, in its original configuration, and you don't want to set it in the tub part of it because it's sloped already. Um, if you do, you're going to be catching a lot of water and it's going to look way off, but you want to do this lip around the edge of it. That way everything's got the right slope. Um, I double check the level on the camper before I'm doing this and it's pretty good I may have to adjust it a little bit but um, I would say it's as level as we're gonna camp with these don't these screws don't really um, support anything it just keeps a pan in place all the supports gonna come from underneath and I'm gonna have to rebuild that piece that it came with so I can probably stop right here for a minute and take my measurements that way I don't have to pull all these screws back out so uh, I will do that actually um, and probably cut this front board too and then I can just set all this at once but that's how uh, I'm gonna level it and then I'll strike a line with my pencil all the way around this that way when I go to reset it I don't have to re-level or anything I can just go straight to my pencil line okay so I covered the panel that's gonna go down there um, with this FRP that we're gonna put on the walls but um, I wanted to get all this covered that way I didn't have to undo this plumbing but more than once uh, I'm going to undo the plumbing, slip the frame in, and then feed the big part through the hole and just kind of set this back for a second and uh, attach the frame to the floor. And then I'll run through all the steps of how to really keep this FRP on the wall. Um, some people may just go around the edge or put a couple globs on, but um, 
I'll run through all the steps that I do. I've done several shower stalls in different houses or whatever, and um, they're all pretty much the same, and I've had pretty good results with the way um, that I do it, but I'm no professional by any means. Uh, I'm just a guy that's watched a lot of YouTube videos, just like some of you guys are, so. Uh, so I'm just gonna install this frame, and uh, get the bottom part finished up, and then we'll work on the walls. Missed a step. I could have been bad. Did anybody else catch it? <laughs> that could have been real bad. Why is my trailer flooded? Big ding dong. Forgot to hook up water. So when you take it off, there's this uh, split um, cover for this, just a white plastic one. That uh, covers this hole for the hose. go like that and then they had it stapled on so I'll grab uh, my staple gun and staple it on there but as far as the base is concerned this is done I don't know if it's worth doing uh, now that I know how to do it and know what it entails I don't know I'd probably do it again uh, hopefully this gave you guys some insight on what you need to do this did gain me like I said too and a quarter two and three eighths of an inch which doesn't sound like a lot but six two I can actually stand up in it and my head will be in the skylight now instead of kicked over to the side in the skylight so all right guys for sake of making this video extremely long I'm gonna cut it right here uh, with the finishing of the shower base um, I'm gonna put video two up part two of the um, shower upgrade shower area upgrade i'm gonna put it up right after this one so um click the link over here for the part two video um so you can see how we do the shower stall and then um i'll, sh I'll show you how we put on this frp panel and make it stay on there so again thanks for following us along and we'll see you on the next one thanks <laughs>